sightings of rare ore fish in Japan raise fears of earthquake and tsunami. Fears of an incoming natural disaster in Japan are swirling online after sightings of a deep water fish believed to be a harbinger of earthquakes and tsunamis. On Friday, two ore fish were discovered after being caught in fishing nets off the northern prefecture of Toyama, bringing the total found this season to seven. Earlier this week, a 3.2 meter, 10.5 foot, ore fish washed up on the shore of Toyama Bay, while a 4 meter, 13 foot, long ore fish was tangled in a fishing net off the port of Amizu. The elusive ore fish lived between 200 and 1,000 meters, 650 to 3,200 feet, deep and are characterized by silvery skin and red fins. Traditionally known as Ryugu no Tsukai in Japanese, or the messenger from the sea god's palace, legend has it that they beach themselves on shores ahead of underwater earthquakes. But scientists dispute such claims. There is no scientific evidence at all for the theory that or fish appear around big quakes. But we cannot 100% deny the possibility, Rozu Aquarium Keeper Kazusa told. It could be that global warming might have an impact on the appearance of or fish or a reason we're just not aware of. The myth of ore fish as harbinger of destruction gained some traction after the 2011 Fukushima earthquake and subsequent tsunami, which killed more than 20,000 people. At least a dozen ore fish had washed up onto Japan's coastline in the year prior to the disaster. While he doubted the theory's validity, one possible scientific explanation could be that subtle changes in the Earth's crust at the bottom of the sea ahead of an earthquake might cause the current to stir and push creatures at the bottom to the surface. But Osamu Inamura, director of Uozu Aquarium, had a more scientific theory about the Toyama Bay sighting, that ore fish are following the movement of their food supply, a kind of a micro shrimp. When their shrimp supply rises toward plankton during the daytime, the ore fish may sometimes follow and get caught in fishermen's nets, Inamura said.